सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग वेल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन मेक दैट हैंगिंग चेन एनिमेशन यूजिंग द ब्लेंडर एंड आई मेक दैट एनिमेशन पॉसिबल विद द हेल्प ऑफ द रिजिट बॉडी सिमुलेशन एंड हाउ यू कैन मेक दैट आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू शो यू इन दिस वीडियो सो मेक श्योर यू वॉच दैट होल वीडियो सो मेक श्योर यू लाइक माई वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड शेयर माई वीडियो ऑल्सो ओके एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो डाउनलोड द प्रोजेक्ट फेल फ्रॉम द डिस्क्रिप्शन I will put the link into the description. You can find from there. That will be free. You can download and uh, recreate your animation also. So now, without any further delay, let's get started. So first, uh, I'm just going to, and here you can see I have already uh, put some shader as well. So when I go to the uh, rendering uh, material preview, so here you can see we have a. rusted chain and if i will play the animation you can see how cool it's looking and i have make one road here also and uh, you can download that project file that will be free okay guys so now let's start the tutorial so for that i am just going to delete uh, the all uh, torus which is i make means all chain yeah and i'm going to remove the rigid body so it will be removed from each and every object like that now we can uh, recreate the chain so first i'm just going to model one chain here so i will go to the top view and uh, i will make one collection here its name chain yeah i will uh, add shift a and here i will uh, add one torus here like that and after that i will uh, going to rotate that torus first of all and i'm going to scale little bit like that yeah and after that i will go to the front view and i will enable that uh, x ray view and after that i will go to the edit mode so i will select the half torus and uh, i'm going to stretch out like that here you can see yeah and after that i will go right click and do the shade smooth and now i will right click again and here is a set origin so i will set the set origin to geometry so that origin will be a uh, center of that object then after that i will uh, duplicate that shift d and press y uh, press z like that and after that i will uh, rotate this 90 degree like that yeah that is fine and uh, i'm going to scale uh, that all over object like that yeah then after that i will uh, duplicate whole object and i will duplicate again shift d like that and copy that command i will uh, do shift r twice thrice so we will get the chain like that yeah i think that is enough and uh, after that i will select the all my chain and i'm going to rotate it 90 degree make sure that will be rotate exactly 90 degree and after that i will uh, keep that i will go to the front view and i will do like that and so i'm going to scale little bit like that so make sure it should uh, inside that uh, that part here you can see yeah like that and uh, if it is not uh, going to touch that part so you can just copy once and like that and you can delete it that part and after that i will select the all my uh chain and i will scale little bit and drag it like that so it should be uh middle of that part okay guys that is important yeah now it's looking cool okay guys so now i'm going to select my all chain like that 
and after that I will go to the object and here is a reset body option section I will go to the add active so so after that I will change that uh, collision shape is a mesh and again I will go to the object and here is a reset body section I will do this copy from active okay guys so now you don't need to add uh, each and every one that same property it will be a copy to each and every one like that but uh, make sure that last one of both side it should be unchecked that dynamic because we don't uh, need to react the simulation okay so make sure you just do that uh, uncheck the dynamic and rest of the part of chain it should be uh, tick off that dynamic because we need to simulate that uh, chain okay guys and after that i will uh, select that one and i will add the rigid body and his option is passive so i will select the passive and uh, convex hell i will set the mesh and same thing i will do this with uh, passive and mesh and uh, so now i'm just going to play the animation now for uh, seeing what is look like the animation so i'm going to play the animation so when i play the animation here you can see we have a hanging chain animation so here you can see I'm going to play again yeah yeah guys here you can see we have a hanging chain animation and it's looking pretty good but here you can see when I play the animation here is a showing some FPS 20 uh, in a red uh, red mark okay so if you want to see your animation in a real time so for that you have to go to the uh, scene property and here is a rigid body wall section so you just bake it at once and when you bake it so you will see that animation in a real time okay yeah and it depend on your system as well also but uh, you will able to see your animation in a real time and it will look cool like that here you can see and now we can copy the same thing okay so for that we have to uh, set the same thing with the passive and uh, mesh and same thing with that also digit body passive and mesh so yeah here you can see so now our animation is uh, done here you can see okay guys so now i'm just going to uh, copy that animation to the that part also so for that i will select my all chain and uh, after that i will go to the shift d and y and i will copy that animation like that and make sure it will be uh, middle of that part yeah it's looking cool and after that i will play the animation so you will able to find that animation same animation with the hair also and if i will change my material preview so here you can see uh, our animation is working properly yeah guys so it's working now properly so now i'm just going to add the uh, rust material on it okay so for that what i will do i have already created one rust material so i will just select one uh, chain part and after that i will go to the uh, material section so here i have a one rust so when i put on this so here you can see it's uh, showing here okay now we need to that uh, rust material to all of that so for that what i will do so i will just right click of that uh, collection and here is option is select objects so all the objects will be select then after that i am just going to uh, first i'm just going to smooth it all like that and after that i will select that uh, last one which is have a material okay control sorry and uh, when i select it that uh, material is showing here okay then after that what i will do i will just do control l and here is showing make link so i will make uh, i will make link as a material so that material will uh, apply automatic to all part of the chain okay guys so now i will play the animation it will be 
go very nicely here you can see and it's running uh, in a real time and it's working properly so here you can see okay guys and uh, i hope you learn something in this video and if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also and if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply your comment so bye bye take care stay home